Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the TGIF Report. I'm Mike Moliterno. Since it is the last Friday of Black History Month, today we'd like to introduce you to a group that's been bringing African culture to the Valley for more than 30 years. Based in Youngstown, the Harambe Dancers are an African singing, dancing, and drumming youth group that travel around the region and the country performing and sharing their culture. But as we'll see, just as important is the group's work to empower and lift up young people in the community. The TGIF Report is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Meet the Harambe Dancers, a group of about 170 youths from the Youngstown area, ranging in age from 3 to 18. We are a youth group. Harambe means let's all pull together. It's the African Swahili word that means let's all pull together. It's not spirited enough. Lynette Miller is the founder of Harambe, which teaches children authentic African dances, most originating from West Africa. She started the group in 1980 to try and make a positive impact in the community. We teach them their history, their heritage, their culture, pride. We teach them community service. We teach them uh, self-discipline. What I get out of it is unity within the black community. I learned that I could be myself doing it. It gave me so much self-confidence. It brought me out of my comfort zone, my chef. It also taught me how to be a leader and stand up for what was right. The Harambe dancers practice every Thursday at the New Bethel Baptist Church in Youngstown. If you were to visit, you'd find drummers learning the rhythms boot dancers learning their steps, Mario! and Katrina Sims teaching dances to the youngest group or primary dancers. Nobody, yeah, you know, we going to the right, y'all going to the right, we just going opposite, yes? My kids know that I absolutely love them, I'm going to praise them, but I'm also going to check them when they need to be checked. Uh -huh. But I do do it with love and I'm extremely consistent. Give them out, out, there you go. We discipline them, but we love our kids, we nurture our kids, so the kids respond. It was such a good experience for my daughter that I encouraged her to enroll my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. That's who I'm here with today. The Harambe dancers perform all over Ohio and in parts of Pennsylvania. We don't charge the kids anything. The way that we support Harambe is we perform and charge for our performances. They perform at different universities and colleges and then they had opportunities to have tours and learn about those universities. But Harambe also teaches the kids about their African heritage. Dancers who show dedication to the program for at least three years are given an African name. What was yours? Niara. African name is Azana. It means of high purpose. The ultimate. Oh, yeah, they got, they nailed that one. <laughs> Ultimately, Miller says the dancing is just a tool. The dance moves are, they can challenge you sometimes, but that just tells you that you can keep pushing forward to work out. The end goal is to build a solid foundation on which these young people can grow. We travel with them throughout their lives. We are at their graduations, we are at their baby showers, we are at their weddings. It definitely helped me to learn how to set goals for myself and to keep pushing myself forward to have motivation internal motivation. Pull together, um, stay as a family. They give me way more than I can ever get them. Harambe is really good and you should come try it out. 717 Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union, it's knowing you were treated right every time.